Neyman's jackets can be ordered in either a matte or glossy fabric. This jacket was made from the matte fabric. It's a few years old now and it's showing some signs of wear, but it's still in very good condition. You can see scuff marks in a few places, but generally speaking it has stood up to combat very well. According to Neyman, most people prefer to order jackets in the matte fabric. However, it's useful to know that the glossy fabric is actually more abrasion resistant than the matte. This is a brand new jacket made from the glossy fabric. Perhaps it's a little too shiny for most people, but if you're interested in a jacket which is very hard wearing, this is the fabric you should choose. I visited Neyman's head office and factory and filmed a demonstration of the glossy fabric's abrasion resistance. Mm. I want to show how it looks like uh, on steel, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, the salt. Okay, never mind. This is what the fabric sample looked like after being subjected to the rigorous abrasion test. The fabric is torn in places where it was pressed very hard on the edge of the polishing wheel, but it's only moderately scuffed in most places, despite strong pressure against a highly abrasive surface. A close examination of the fabric shows that most of the wear marks are only on the surface, and that the physical integrity of the fabric remains intact. This fabric is not only extremely puncture resistant, at least 800 newtons, but is also extremely resistant to abrasion. In the community there is typically much discussion of puncture resistance, for obvious reasons, but comparatively little discussion of abrasion, even though abrasion is the most common form of damage to jacket fabric. When choosing a jacket I believe abrasion resistance should be a serious consideration.